guys welcome back it's gonna be just a chill video in some natural light I'm gonna be talking about a zero waste makeup brand called root I think now they're just called root makeup they used to be called root pretty it is this brand here there's their logo so I've had these items in my hands for a while and I've used them a few times and I think I have my thoughts together. So we're going to be putting on a full face of these products and just seeing how they perform. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sinia. I review low waste beauty products, skincare, and I talk a little bit about sustainability on this channel. If any of that sounds good to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and get into a full-ish face of Root Makeup. One of the things that really attracted me to the brand Root initially was, first of all, the name I think definitely says something about the effort that this brand is putting into being as natural as possible. Um, I saw a lot of their products that are compostably packaged or have no packaging at all and are in sort of a refill system. And I thought that their efforts to do that to be as sustainable as possible in their packaging and formulas was really, really admirable. So I wanted to go ahead and try their products and support them a little bit. I went ahead and made a big purchase on their website. I have a foundation, a concealer, two lipsticks, a blush, and an eyeshadow. The eyeshadow came in a sample form and I just repressed it into an empty eyeshadow pan that I had but pretty much everything else is kind of as is. One of the lip products that they had was a like limited edition small release like for the first 50 customers or something like that that placed an order. They got their Velveteen Matte Lip in the shade Krista. Um, so I was one of those people that got that freebie. So I will just go through these products kind of one by one and put them on my face and talk about my thoughts. I do already have brows and lashes on just because I don't have those products from Root and this is just kind of what I was wearing today. We're going to start off with a primer. First I'm actually going to put on a hydrating setting mist. So I am picking the one from Pacifica. This is their vegan collagen setting mist. Been a while since I put on my skincare so I really want my skin to be as hydrated as possible. Next I'm going to go in with a shimmery hydrating liquid primer. This one is from Juice Beauty. About two pumps of that. The foundation from Root is a stick foundation and those are notoriously a little bit more full coverage, a little bit more matte. So I find the formula to be the most agreeable when I have a really hydrated base. I'm going to start with their concealer. Um, so their concealer comes in a pan form. This is the Prime and Conceal in the shade 22 Fair. It's a little bit more yellow toned than I would typically like, but for all intents and purposes, it works. So I'm going to take this on a EcoTools Precision Concealer Brush that just looks like this. This one's a little bit dirty. I'll make it work. So the consistency of this is kind of thick, almost like a whipped texture. So I'm going to put a bit of that on my eyelids, inner corner, and below. So it blends out really nicely. You can see the texture. It's got a bit of sheen to it. 
and the undertone is really nice. I am going to take just a tiny bit more and try to cover up this little friend. Do you have some breakouts on my cheeks? I'm trying to figure out if that's from like me just not drinking enough water or if I'm reacting to one of the skincare products that I've been trying out, I'm not sure. But So that's what the base is looking like. I'm gonna set that with just a bone colored eyeshadow. This one is from Well People. I'm just gonna use a little fluffy brush. Concealer will crease if you let it, so setting it down just kind of helps with the longevity. The Root Wonder Foundation was one of the products, let's see if it'll focus, that I was the most intrigued by. Most foundations in the zero waste space are either in like a glass jar, glass bottle with a pump, or they are in a pan form, kind of like the Salt New York Sneaky Balm. I was intrigued, I had never really seen a company pick a tube for their delivery system so I thought that, that would be kind of interesting um, I got it in the lightest shade and it is too light for me but it's the formula that I want you guys to pay attention to because the claims on their wonder foundation is that it is a creamy full coverage foundation naturally pigmented with minerals and enriched with deep conditioning ingredients for a long-lasting hydrating finish I think that this is a very matte finish to the point where it dries out and I have to scrape through to get a bit of product. Like look how hard I'm pushing and like nothing is coming up. I don't leave this sitting out. I use the cap that it comes with. I make sure that it's pushed all the way down and like secure, but this has just like dried like to a ridiculous degree so I'm gonna scrape off that top layer which I should not have to do to make a product work this is like t to me this is like you know kind of a ridiculous step but just that little bit that I scraped is like letting a little bit of product come through but it's still so dry so I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush this is the eco tools precision foundation it's dense there's almost no coverage to this like it blends into nothing and it's so stiff that it ends up looking streaky so I'm gonna spray my face again try to use that to spread things out but truly it's like there's no coverage to this I'm going to try to pick some up. Like, do you see that? There's just nothing, there's nothing to it. There's no push, 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 push to get the color on. It's so dry, so you spray it. And then you blend. And it's like there's a whisper of what was and nothing more. Like there's not any... Like these stripes are still there. Put a ridiculous amount of setting spray on it.
it truly just like blends into nothing. The concealer, I still see. I can still see the concealer under my eyes, but I can't see the foundation. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know if I got a bad batch. I don't know what happened, but I really wanted to like this. I wanted there to be a completely compostable, zero waste, full coverage foundation option, but this is terrible. I would not recommend the Root Pretty Wonder Foundation. They have another product that's like a, try and cover up something on my nose. They have another product, like a, a foundation in like a pump, um, pretty, the pretty foundation or, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. I'll try and leave um, like the name or the picture or something up here and you know, just so you can find it. But. Maybe that's better, I don't know, because this is just, like, I mean, you can see, my skin looks exactly the same. It just looks a little bit, like, dusty. Anyways. So that's a fail. I was not a fan of that. The concealer is good. It gives me a bit of coverage under my eyes, but to me, the foundation stick is not worth it. Next, let's talk about their bronzers. So this is a bronzer by them. It looks a lot more peachy, like a blush, and that's kind of my fault. I didn't do my due diligence in reading the descriptions of their bronzers. So they have a very large bronzer range. They have loose and pressed, and I think they even have cream bronzers. Like, it, it's extensive, and it's very impressive to me. I knew I wanted powder, and I knew I wanted pressed. I don't really do well with loose powders. And so I picked the one that looked the most, like, natural, and online, I didn't think at the time that it looked this peachy, but it's so peach. <laughs> so this, in my opinion, is more of a blush, but it's a really pretty blush. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and you can see there's a good amount of pigment on there that'll focus. And you know, God only knows what this blush is grabbing on to. So try not to blame the performance of the blush on what is actually the Wonder Foundation's fault, but I really like this formula. I think it's really nice. I would definitely buy other colors. There is a really stunning blush shade. I think it's called Fiji. Um, it's the one that's like a lavender, like a really light lavender color and that one to me would be like the perfect corrector shade for when you've just gone a little too overboard on your blush and you want to like tone things down i think that would be lovely for that so i might pick that one up at some point um, but i'm going to take a little bit of that maya bronzer I don't, did i say the shade name it's maya maya i'm just going to take it on a crease brush a little bit there. That's okay. Just kind of throw it above my crease. So that formula absolutely would recommend it. I think it looks really, really nice. Next, I'm going to talk about the little sample eyeshadow that I got. This is like the sample amount that I got. Um, it's called Sensible, but like scent, like a scent. Um, but it's this really pretty kind of pinky shimmer. It's so pigmented. So that swatch still has extra on my finger. I'm just gonna tap it 
pop that over. on my eyeball and this is I believe meant to be a loose eyeshadow like that's how the full size comes they do also have pressed eyeshadows available and they had some really nice colors um, but from what I can tell I mean this formula has really impressed me I don't have any issues blending it works really nicely with uh, my skin tone and it blends in really well just using my fingers so really nice I would love to try more of their eyeshadow formula I think it's really good so I'm going to very quickly kind of rejudge my brows if you've seen my, my most recent video um, you'll know that I'm obsessed with the Izzy zero waste brow gel this thing is my new holy grail. I'll have a link in my description box if you want to try it and give you some money off. I'm currently wearing the Izzy mascara on my lashes. So last, I'm just going to kind of fix my brows run through them a little bit with a clean spoolie last are these zero waste lipsticks from root this one like i said before